Hi guys, how you doing? It's me, Joy, and welcome to Reading with Joy, where you read with me, that's Joy, because that's my name, and we read with Joy, because we're excited about reading stories. And today's story is very exciting, it's very lovely, and it's got jazz, baby, and some crazy, crazy voices, and not so many silly faces, because actually, I'm just going to be reading this story, and you'll see the pictures, you won't see much of this. Not got a lot of this going on today because we are reading Mr. Big by Ed Veer. Mr. Big. And he was really big. And uh, we're going to be reminding out what happened to him. Have you ever thought you were a bit different? Maybe people didn't want to play with you for some reason. Um, usually they're very silly reasons why people don't want to be friends with us. But this book is all about overcoming those things, those challenges and those obstacles that stop us from being friends with other people and stop them from being friends with us. And it's all about embracing the arts as well. Do you like the piano? I play a little bit of piano. I quite enjoy it, but I'm not as good as Mr. Big. Should we just find out how good he is? Come on then, let's start the story. Let me tell you a story about a friend of mine. He go by the name of Big. Mr. Big. Now, Mr. Big had a small problem. Compared to everyone else, he was extremely big. He was so big that anywhere he went, all everyone saw was someone big and scary. No one stuck around to find out who he really was. So, inside, Mr. Big felt very, very small. And that's how it always was. When Mr. Bear went to the cafe, everyone had other things to do. When Mr. Bear got on the bus, everybody else got off. And when he went to the pool, well, let's just say, everyone needed to be somewhere else. No one ever saw the real Mr. Big. One day, Mr. Big noticed a piano in a shop window. It looked all alone, just like him. So, he bought it and took it home. As Mr. Big sat alone at the piano, he thought of all the things that made him sad. And then he played. His music drifted out through the open window and into the evening sky. It drifted across the rooftops over to his neighbors and they wondered who was playing such beautiful music hey man they get can play the word spread and night after night everyone came from all over town and still no one knew who was playing it was a big mystery but inside mr big was still alone and then, one morning, Mr. Big received his first ever letter. It was an invitation, and it said, Dear Mystery Pianist, Thank you for your beautiful music. Everyone's been listening to you for weeks, and we're all wondering one thing. Who are you? We'd love to meet you. Me and a couple of the guys are playing tonight at the Blue Note. Please, Come and join our band. See you later, a friend. That night, Mr. Big joined the band. All night long, the joint was thumping and nobody wanted to leave. At last, everyone could see the real Mr. Big. Go, baby, go. Groovy, man. Hot, man. 
Yeah, baby Jazz. Yeah, cool. He's cooking, Daddy O. That's all, folks. Now that the big band has hit the big time and everyone wants to meet them, Mr. Big has a new problem. He don't get much time to be alone. And that's just the way he likes it. Please, can you sign my book, Mr. Big? Groovy baby, I'm your biggest fan. Like, er, uh, is it really you? Wow, can I have your autograph, please? Thank you, Mr. Big. Mr. Big, we love you. Why, er, wow. Come back soon. And there we are. That was Mr. Big by Ed Veer. Did you enjoy that? Did you join in with the silly voices? I'm sorry about the lack of silly faces. I hope you did lots of your own. I'm sure you could imagine what mine probably looked like. Like a bit like this. Thank you, Mr. Big. We love you, Mr. Big. Like, oh, uh, wow. <laughs> that was what I was doing behind the scenes while we were reading that one. Now, if you like that one, then you need to click on one of these and join me in another story. Come on, let's get started on another one right now. <laughs> 